all right looks like we are back and uh looks like went back reviewed some of the uh footage of the test stream felt like it uh came across pretty well so um finished eating thought i'd come back to it maybe actually get a little drawing done so that way you can see me work rather than just talk about work <clears throat> That being said, revolving around work, uh, if that one watching, it's probably me. Um, my biggest goal is to make sure that my my stream health stays good. Uh, I noticed I had to go in and adjust my bit rate. They said that uh, I was not on the right bit rate. Um. So my focus tonight, I think, is so that way I'm not wasting too much of you guys' time. I'm going to uh, come in here. Um, actually, let's go from there to there. <clears throat> I'm going to select all those by uh, selecting the first one, figuring out how far I want to go to, hold down shift. And select, and it will select uh, everything in between. And I want to group this because I'm going to pull down my opacity while I work on the gun. So that way um, it's kind of not overbearing on what I'm trying to draw. So I will just hold down the shift button, come down here into the corner uh, under the layers, and select folder. And that's going to put what I've done already into a single group. Now, as you can see, I can adjust the opacity of the group as a whole. Um, let's bring it down to about 24. And I uh, actually don't want to be in the group. So let's see. Boom. <coughs> Create a new layer. On top of the group uh, so basically for inking um, select F5 is a quick pop-up menu for your uh, brush source um, I just select here 30 hard uh, hard tip with my spacing all the way down to 1% because I want nice smooth lines I don't want any jitterness between them um, and my shape dynamics turned on to where my size jitter is uh, is the only thing I'm working with since I'm trying to kind of ink this thing in like a uh, basically a um, comic book style inking. So uh, did that. Uh, let's turn that guy back off and start drawing here. Um, initially, I kind of had this other look going for the gun wasn't really sure what kind of shapes and stuff I wanted and I just know I wanted it to be uh, unique you know so um, we'll see where it goes uh, decide whether or not I want to take the few things from it that uh, that I have going on here so uh, Start with this line, huh? And then actually, I'm just going to try and lay my count just a little bigger here. So I want some nice fatness going on here. I sort of had this idea of like. Sort of had this idea of the gun's where's my oh that's uh, way too big. 
Let's see if I can move the right around there. There we go. That way I'm getting the kind of line weight I want right now. Um, it's a good chance I'll probably put you know something more in uh, a little heavier wear in H and go over. And then I can Photoshop, I can erase whatever I need to. But the object is to try and get the one stroke you need, save yourself time, be more efficient. Um, create this uh, you know thinking about it and uh, of this front side edge here following somewhat similar to what I have going with the back line um, not gonna lie one thing I still struggle a lot with that um, I should probably go out and practice a lot more often is my uh, my perspective um, just creating it off the top of my head a lot of times I don't always get what I'm what I'm expecting and uh, tends to Frustrate me, cause me to uh, almost give up sometimes, you know. But um, <clears throat> I struggled through it because that's where you learn trial and error. this illusion of like this rib you know that's that's one beauty about uh like Todd McFarlane says when you're drawing monsters there's no right or wrong but <clears throat> you know like I said since uh since this is the predator and it kind of already has a look it is important to uh maintain some of those uh ideas just so that way you get that believability um, and one thing I want to try and stick with in this drawing is even though all of this technology is so you know just crazy cool uh, I mean dude's got a nuclear weapon on his wrist basically and uh, it's got all this high-tech stuff but at the same time, I feel like there's a lot more organic involved with their technology than like what we have as a, as the human race, where most of our technology revolves around electronics and metal, um, almost kind of like James Cameron's uh, uh, Avatar, you know. Everything that revolves around the natives is a uh, is more of a uh, bio-based technology. Um, you know, they referred to it as their god, because uh, of course we're <coughs> trying to depict them as nothing more than heathen savages, much like the way we treated the uh, the American native. Um, but, you know, uh, it's not a good thing what happened, you know, unfortunately it did happen, um, some great things stemmed out of 
the horrible things that occurred. Uh, you know, unfortunately, for things in history to exist, uh, it's the only way that I could have possibly uh, come into the place now, along with most of us. So, um, we should be fortunate that um, we're here enjoying who we are and what we got. And, I mean, look at this. I'm, uh, I'm drawing on a computer screen. You know, <clears throat> these kind of ideas really didn't exist until, you know, that technology that I'm sitting here kind of haphazardly bashing on, uh, if it had never shown up, it would have never even mattered. Um, I'd still be brick and mortar type, uh, type drawing, nothing more than some pen and paper. But, uh, like I said, didn't come here to discuss any any of those ideologies or what other people have views on. Instead, I'm just here to draw, enjoy myself, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy what you see. live streaming is causing a bit of a delay in some of my uh, my mechanics here so we'll see how it goes um, you know maybe if I don't get any viewers here soon I'll just stop the stream and resort to a recording which will allow me to uh, allow me to just Put it on YouTube later for people to watch, which I'm doing anyways. Uh, all right, so I've got this guy coming down here. Um, has some sort of rotation mechanism here. out from back here got this edge here doesn't need to be shown um, like I said some of my stuff is my drawings can be very uh, crude sometimes and a little bit of it still just not always feeling comfortable with my line weight things like that um, but there's only one way to get around that and that's just to keep working on it you know it gets better and better Practice makes perfect. My brother, he uh, he likes to do our work. Um, puts his heart and soul into it. Sometimes it tends to be where he just wants the easy button. And believe me, if there was an easy button, I probably would have tried my hardest to figure it out so we could show you. Lucky to have any watchers? No. Nope. No viewers. Oh well. Uh, and it appears my stream health is not going so well. But it is what it is. So we'll uh, just keep working for now. Let's 
this guy here, so I can uh, just have to pull on this tiny neck, and it has this wheel that just turns to an LED. I wouldn't really want it too much, right? Because, uh, Think out there. Let's go. Hmm. You know, it's part of my uh, part of my headache right here, just trying to figure if uh, something worked right or what. And like I said, it's not always the most efficient method for trying to figure things out. But you know, when it comes to being my own artwork, it doesn't really matter. If I can do whatever I want. Uh, Figuring things out, learning things, uh, trial and error, man. It's the only way you, uh, it's the only way you get a guarantee on this kind of stuff. Because I guarantee if you try it and it doesn't work, you can try something else. I think I'm going to actually have to zoom take this here. Because it's about to about right there. 
even though it felt right. Uh, I need to add some more arm down here, and uh, I'm not going to be able to do that the way I was going. Because we're going to do this piece here, which is this guy. What's everybody think out there? If anybody's watching, let's see what we got here. Hello, viewers. Ooh, I had somebody watch my stream. Hey, what's up? I don't know how you're watching me. Uh, if you want to say what's up here in the uh, live chat, just do a little ink in here. I know, kind of looked, uh, kind of looked horrible at the moment, but that's what I do. I just kind of noodle and noodle, and then eventually start to get what I'm looking for. Um, One thing about the Predator stuff too is got all this weird like intricate pattern almost like it's some kind of uh almost like a woven material uh like a like a carbon fiber weaving but um maybe more like fiberglass where it's sprayed in and i kind of just feel like you see that on all other technologies and that's where a lot of my whole feeling about their technology being organic is because of that uh, the way that it looks weaved almost um, intricately back and forth as opposed to being as opposed to being machine like our type of metal where you know you look at our military equipment everything's stamped or cast and uh, just a different type of casting I see that comes from from the predators uh, 
universe. Feather not the shadow. And of course, they always say, you know, the darkest part of the shadow is right in the middle of it. Um, especially so on like rounded objects. Uh, a lot of that has to do with placing. Um, or I mean, uh, bounce lighting. And they came in here. They came in here just right and kind of creates a feel of it. Let's go to the bottom part here where it needs to be uh, addressed. Um, way uh, oh, I want to do it here Let's see if I can get some of this to go Oh, the sun kind of reflects it up here. You can miss it a little. I don't know if this serves a purpose or not. But I'm sure that I'll put it where I like it does. Kind of like that guy in there better. Damn! All these bigger lines. I just don't have those feelings to me. Like it's almost kind of like machine like a file is. With all these small, intricate patches. Creating a texture uh, need to increase that size just a little bit. And now that I have a few of them, maybe size a few of them up a little more. And if it starts getting a little too dark, I can just uh, come back and say, hey, I need some highlight in this, this guy here. Maybe we can, oh yes, one other thing I need to do while I'm thinking about this, now that I've kind of got my established outline. What I'm doing here is I'm just filling in a background 
with white so that way I don't have a uh, that way I don't have his hair and stuff kind of uh, in the way. doesn't have to be perfect it's kind of a generalized idea get back to some more drawing here get rid of this Let's see what this is on this one it's coming in kind of heavy up this edge here as far as edges go, normally your heaviest shadow is going to be um, at the edge where the where the light breaks, um, where it can't wrap around. That'll be your darkest shadow on the edges. So round objects are a little different. They tend to have a bit more of like a penumbra effect where uh, the light dies off to a certain point and then the shadow breaks and that should be uh, should be your heaviest point of your shadow usually sorry uh, if you keep seeing me take a drink um, I'm no way in at all sponsored by uh, Diet Dr. Pepper I'm just trying to get away from drinking soda as you can see uh, it's kind of had a major impact on my life and uh, I told myself I was gonna quit drinking it but I still have a, a real need for some uh, that, that sugary and carbonated uh, sugary and carbonated kind of appeal that I think I got from soda uh, so just trying to curb that until I'm just done drinking it I know the easiest way to give something up is to just do it uh, but if all aspects of dedication were that easy I would Probably be in a little better situation for myself. You know, be an actor in Hollywood or something. No, I don't know. And one thing I know too is that I think is really important is to make sure that if you're drawing always try to draw from your elbow and your shoulder for the less motion in the fingers and the wrists uh, it's okay for doing some small micro detailing type stuff but you lose a lot when you have to uh, when you start using just your wrist and your fingers to control your uh, know your arcs your natural arcs of your elbow and your arm are just better than uh, than uh, and wider it, it just takes time and practice to get used to uh, get used to drawing with it you know it's all about muscle memory um, if any of you guys ever play instruments or video games um, just repetition creates kind of what you need to get things done uh, I'm mumbling I guess I'm too busy drawing and not concentrating on what I'm trying to say One thing I notice though as I've gotten older with my artwork is 
even though I still care about the quality of my work, uh, I've just I've begun to accept aspects of you know there is no perfect work. It, it comes from just execution, um, commitment. If you look at the pros, the reason why they do such great work, and I'm talking professional artists of all type, whether you're a fine arts painter, an animator, a musician, put in hundreds or thousands of hours, really, to, uh, to achieve things. When you see people who uh, dedicate themselves to other stuff, like like Michael Jordan, for example. Such a great athlete. May not have been a fan of his attitude, but I will respect the fact that that man worked his ass off to achieve what he got. Um, from the time he was a child and was cut from his high school basketball team or whatever, as, as the story goes. And then, you know, he ended up starting in college and went on to win a national championship and six titles uh, six championship titles at a professional level um, multiple MVPs and defensive player of the year shot three-pointers like it was nobody's business I mean, the guy was just phenomenal at what he did. And at the same time, he, uh, he only got there because he strived for the perfection. Um, being able to save it. He worked as hard practicing as he did uh, playing. And that's the one thing that I took from Michael Jordan that I thought was one of the greatest things he ever he ever did was openly just say, if you're not gonna, you know, if you're not gonna play or if you're not gonna practice like you're playing, then what's the point of practicing? Um you know, I like to just sit down with a sketchbook and doodle, and I, I tend to not really accomplish a whole lot. Maybe some scribbles, a few fun uh, gesture doodles, uh, characters that I'll make of people. That's one of my favorite things to do is... Doodle, uh, doodle characters of uh, people I see out in public, or just random, you know, seeing things in shapes. It's one of my favorite ways to doodle. Don't really know what I'm doing with this piece down here. Thought I knew. Changed my mind, realized it wasn't working the way I wanted it to. Maybe I should bring it this way. Yeah, let's do that instead. Excuse me. Okay, like that. Switch over. Now I got my plane here. And I'm gonna cross hatch, 
the illusion, direction, plane, and of course it curves right here. this edge and break it up a little bit. Oops, that was too much. Come back to the black. Shadow underneath it. Follow it up where it tapers. On the fly. So I can take this shadow and then this shadow kind of come more like right here. Does this feel like it's rounded maybe? Something like that. Just rotate on it so I can get the plane. Just like not quite so perfect. Do that there. Bring this here. There we go. I think that's better. But I still want just a little bit of black in here. This piece up here a little bit of maybe black it all in here. That way, we'll just spend some time in here instead. all in black. edge back up in here make that a heavier edge well 
don't know why, but I have this obsession with have this obsession with like tribal tribal edges uh, not edges but um, hooks and corners and came up with a template you know like Things that can just whoosh, whoosh, like that, you know. Um, I don't know why. I just got to do it. it. It's fun to me. Uh, nobody watching. Nobody watching. Nobody cares. Let's get my streams off. Please check video resolution. Current resolution is not optimal. See if I can adjust this resolution real quick. Video, no, not while I'm active. I'm gonna have to stop my stream real quick and uh, adjust my resolution. All right, and I'm back. Um, Sorry for that. Uh, just had to go switch that resolution real quick. Um, should try not to take up too much more time on this guy. Uh, still got a lot of stuff to do on this drawing. Just really had kind of uh, the mindset of something I wanted to uh, do. And it's just like everything else. If you want to do it, that's it. See if I can kind of create a smaller edge here. platform here is just what is this a signal need to do right what can I do what I have you looking for have exactly what I'm looking for, which it happens, it's okay, I don't really care.
I gotta quit worrying about that though and work on something else for now. Let's see, don't need anything fancy. Yeah, let's put some more fancy, fancy paint to the house here. I like the bears. Pretty easily. Of course, we know that they're all going to peak right around here. So I can just come in and like so. Of course, you know, this thing can't be, like, all perfect and new, so I'm actually going to come in here and take a couple of chunks out, create like that, maybe a piece across here. It comes down this way. here gonna have all these little marks on it everywhere if it's that predator stuff so it'll be like and uh, get, get some line work in here maybe even size up the brush some and just come in here and try to make it 
with a predator touch. Some big old blobs of black. Get that right there. Oh, yeah. There. If it's broken down there, it's got to be loose. Because there's something behind it. Let's see what else do I need to do. Let's keep going on this here. In here, huh? Don't say that the thing is just for strike, not at all. In fact, I feel like if it wasn't for Todd McFarlane, comic books would never have even lived this long. Uh, so, yeah, that's my shout out to literally my. Probably one of my artistic idols, which would be Todd McFarlane. You know, a lot of people don't think he's as good as I do, but you know what? When you got a guy who's sold as many comics as he has, who's created one of the best comic book stories to ever, you know, cover a uh, page, I think. You deserve to be called one of the greats. You know, if it wasn't for Stan Lee, Todd McFarlane wouldn't exist. But if it wasn't for Todd McFarlane, I probably would never have got into this kind of artwork. Because comic books and superheroes were cool, but, uh, He made them something even beyond that. So far beyond that, too. Like, go in here and throw a little, break up some of this.
at one hour now, huh? Got any viewers on my stream? Do I have anybody? No. Ah, oh, imagine that. So if that's not optimal either, what is the optimal stream? stream is complete, a public video will be in a view later, are you going to live again, anytime you send content, you're live, cool, <laughs> interesting, so who's watching me, probably me, Get back to uh, noodling on this guy, and maybe we'll uh, actually finish it before the night's over. Now I want to have this this piece done and done. Oops. So just get a quick little bit of this going on in between. Because saw black is always not necessary, even fully black lines. Just switch over here. Yeah. Let's see if I can start creating some kind of texture on this. separate that plane from this plane, so I can take and run my, my hatch lines a little more like this. just so it's not quite so even. Got a little bit of light back up in there. Like so. Maybe do it over here. Could get this one edge. Bam. No. Do that a little further. There we go. And uh, just throw this couple little hash chunks in there, break that white up. Piece here though is definitely going to need to be exactly what I want it is. Okay. I'm even looking at this guy right now. That's, this right here is going to be Probably one of the deepest shadows on the gun right there. It's not a plasma can. It's not a gun. It is a can. Let's taper off. Get rid of this other side back here.
No. I think Yui's a Photoshop. It's, it's versatility, you know. Since I'm working on it. of a non-linear surface, or I mean a, because uh, I'm not working on paper, you know, I get that chance to be able to rotate the paper as I work, which used to not work quite as well. Now it's really sweet, because you can just hold down the R, and uh, it'll give you this quick. quick edge, or uh, quick release kind of, rather than having to actually push the button, use the tool, go back, like it really, really make things a lot better for me at least. Sounds like I got company, so uh, I'm gonna have to uh, call this quits. Um, if anybody's watching this, let me know what you think. Thanks for stopping by. Try and be out tomorrow. Do some more work.